We continue to follow breaking news out of Sacramento. The search is still on for two suspects wanted in a shooting at a light rail station. One person is dead. Two others are injured. They do have a subject down on the light rail platform. Police responding to multiple crime scenes with a carjacking at a nearby gym. That car was dumped at Sacramento State. Police are still collecting evidence, trying to piece together exactly what happened. Thank you for joining us here at 11. I'm Andrea Flores. And I'm Golston Dart, Livecopter 3, giving us an exclusive aerial view of the crime scenes all day since it started around 4 o'clock. That's not far from where the car that was stolen moments after the shooting was found. We have live team coverage from the light rail station where the shooting happened and Sacramento State where the car was found. But first we want to get to KCRA 3's Leanne Denier at the light rail station tonight. So Leanne, is there still an active scene there? Yeah, there is. Just over my shoulder, we're able to see some of the Sacramento police investigators taking photos, gathering evidence, continuing to process the scene. They have been out here for hours. One of the questions they tell us that they are still trying to figure out is where exactly this shooting happened. Did it happen on one of the trains nearby? They do know it was somewhere on this property. Yellow crime scene tape wrapped around the University 65th Street light rail station Thursday. Police lights flashing in the dark as investigators worked. I was going to use the light rail, but now I mean I can't. Pedro Cortez heard police activity throughout the day, telling us he stayed home while he could hear a police helicopter. I didn't know that there was a shooting involved, so you know that kind of caught me off guard. Thursday afternoon with live copter three overhead, evidence markers could be seen on the ground as Sacramento police officers investigated the homicide. They're going to process the scene, look at any available video that might or might not uh, be available. Police say officers responded to the shooting just after 315 Thursday afternoon, remaining in the area for hours. Responding officers located one male with at least one gunshot wound. Unfortunately, that male was pronounced deceased on scene. Uh, preliminary information tells us that there are two additional victims uh, who have sustained gunshot wounds. A witness at a nearby gym told KCRA 3 they heard shots and saw a carjacking shortly after. Yeah, it's, it, it's kind of heartbreaking. It really is. Into the night, police still working to piece together information, gather evidence, and telling community members to stay vigilant. Police believe the two suspects are both male, one in a gray hooded sweatshirt and the other in a black hooded sweatshirt. We're asking the community to keep their eyes out. Um, if you see something, say something. Please call 911. And late tonight, the Sacramento Police Department telling us they still do not have anybody in custody. As for the two individuals who were shot and survived, police were able to tell us that they are a man and a woman, but not any further details. And lastly, we're told that they are investigating, looking at how this carjacking may or may not be connected to the shooting investigation. But at this point, Sacramento police not linking those two investigations together in Sacramento. Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Leanne, and that investigation will likely go into the overnight hours. Thank you so much for staying on top of it. Well, let's get more on the carjacking right now. Carolina Estrada now at Sacramento State. Not far from where Leanne is, Carolina. Yeah, right here in Sacramento State, we're still seeing those officers patrolling the area. They found that vehicle that you guys mentioned close to the Guy West Bridge. So the hours long search for these two suspects was in big part here on campus. Today, we saw investigators as they found evidence and looked together more on how this is or could be um, if it is related to that deadly shooting that happened earlier. For more than three hours, Sacramento police searched an area on the Sacramento State campus for two suspects believed to be armed and dangerous. After officers found an abandoned vehicle at a parking lot near the Guy West Bridge. Police say the Honda Civic was carjacked on Folsom Boulevard, but did not confirm if it was connected to the deadly shooting at the nearby Sacramento Light Rail Station on 65th Street. Officers and park rangers focused on the parkway area near the American River using a drone to scan the area for clues. The sweatshirt and the shoes that we found um, matches and the black jeans matches the subject. Live Copter 3 capturing exclusive images of crime scene investigators bringing up bags of evidence from the riverbank and flashes indicating them taking pictures. While the search continues, Sacramento Police warns residents to be on alert. 
pretty safe, calm, peaceful. Like, I wouldn't expect many cops out here, especially on a Thursday evening. So that's why we were really surprised. And Sacramento police says that they still don't have anybody in custody. They ask anyone with information to contact them immediately. Live in Sacramento, Carolina Estrada, KCRA 3 News. Carolina, thank you. And we will continue to follow the search for the two suspects after this shooting at the light rail station. Make sure you download the KCRA 3 app. We will send you major updates straight to your phone.